What's going on, everyone? It is that black guy that lives in Denmark that originally came from the States, but you know him as favorite vlogger. So today's topic, I actually got a very good one. It's, I think, again, this might have been something in the past that I've already covered, but it constantly comes up. So, I mean, I have no problem covering stuff like this. I actually got a friend that just wrote on Facebook that she has an assignment. Now, the person's name is Betty, and I think Betty has been here longer than me. I think she's been in Denmark for like seven to eight years, and I've only been here six to seven. She has, I guess, an assignment with her school that she has to explain to some teenage uh, Danish people stuff about the States. So I think she wrote something like on Facebook, what are some things to discuss to the Danes, to these teenagers about the States? You know, some of the stuff that is, I guess, glorified on the television, but once they go over in real life, you know, they, they, they get a taste of what's going on. And I actually sat and I thought about this for a while. There are some things that are very different in the States than it is in Denmark. Some of you might already know about a few of these things, but I mean, I guess it's important to touch up on them. Uh, the first thing is, and, and I can tell you right away because I've been on vacation with my family here from Denmark. The culture shock for me was that it was very odd to literally drink water straight from the tap. Now, here in Denmark, I've actually got myself accustomed to drinking water from the tap. But it's pure 100% water. Unlike in the States. Now, I grew up in the States, so I'm used to that, the stuff in the water in the States. And what I'm getting at is it's, um, what's the word, filtered a little bit with chlorine. Now, we all know what chlorine is. You know, you put it in your clothes, you know, to wash them and stuff like that. But now, just a, and when I say just a little drop, of it is in the water it's only to I guess kill the bacteria now I'm not a scientist I don't know how it works please don't take my word for it because I could be totally wrong but if I'm not mistaken I think now they've started to put a little smidge of fluoride in the water now or, or this could be something just particularly to a specific state I do remember hearing somewhere in Florida either it was like, uh, there's like a sm very little percent of fluoride in the water or something like that. I don't know how it works. It could just be regular, obviously, chlorine. So, uh, that's something for you Danes. If y'all don't know, I mean, my in-laws and my wife, even my kid, they can't stand drinking water straight from the tap, especially over in the States. For example, oh, man, it tastes like chlorine. So, fucking what? I grew up with it. I think it's fine, you know. But... If you go to the States, you will be drinking most likely some bottled water because you probably will taste the chlorine. So just get used to it. The next thing, uh, I think a lot of people, a lot of teenage Danish people, they don't realize about the, um, what do you call it, the grading scale. And this is something that's huge that kind of impacts me a little bit, especially today. For those of you that didn't know, but briefly go off subject here. I, um, I'm taking a Grundfeldurb, uh, which is like a general education type. And today I got some results back on a report that I had to do while I was out in the workforce. I got the report back and I got a seven. Now, if I'm not mistaken, a seven in US grading scale, I think is like a low B, high C. I could be wrong. Because obviously in Denmark, they do the grading scale on based off of numbers. I think it goes 0, 0, 0, 002, uh, I think 04, and then it goes like 7, 10, 12. So I'm guessing uh, that 10 is like a B, 12 is like an A, uh, 7 is middle of the house C, I guess, and you know, but the rest goes from there. Obviously, in the States, we work off a scale where it's, I think, 100%, obviously, is an A. I think 90 to, like, I want to say 86. It may be 82. I'm not sure because grading scale has changed so much nowadays. Uh, I know that 80 percentile is a C. Uh, you got to 65 to 70, maybe 72, 78, something like that is 
a D range and then anything below a 64 is considered an F, which is failing. So for some of you that don't know about the, the American grading system, that's like super important because if you go over to the States and you take an education, you look at your paper and you get like a 71 and you're thinking like, well, what the heck is this? You're at, ask your teacher. If, if you really want to know, just obviously go on the internet and check out and see what it is. But that's something huge that you probably might want to know. Uh, another thing that uh, I just like recently thought of because I watch television here in, the, in Denmark, excuse me. And over here in Denmark, they don't have FCC, which is great. It's awesome. That means you can watch TV in all its entirety. So if you watch television and the television program, take for example the Osbournes, they say fuck damn asshole shit, son of a bitch, cunt, and everything else in the, the whole entire cursing dictionary, you hear it for what it is. Unlike in the States, if you said that whole entire phrase that I just said, you probably hear a loud ass beep. That's because the FCC, I, I totally forgotten what that stands for, but it's like there, there's this committee group that basically wants to put a stop to hearing swearing and stuff like that. But it doesn't just persist to swearing, it persists to other things as well too. We're talking sex themes and pornography and, and that's something else over here. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm a man, you know, I, hey, naked titties and boobies and all that shit, that shit is awesome. Cool, right? Over in the States, you get those, you know, pixels and all that blur. That shit ain't fun, man. So be prepared. These are just, this is just a small midge of some things that just went off the top of my head. These are some of the things that I wrote back to her, of course, and she ate it right up. So I hope that you explain these things to them, Betty, and I hope it goes very well. If you have any other types of, I guess, culture shock things that, that, that she can explain to these Danish people, please let, let me know. Let them know here in the comment sections, here on whatever. You can go on the Facebook page, and then I will forward them over to her because this is something that she's doing. She's a, a, an American herself, so I figured, you know, what the hell maybe I should ask. And if you are Danish, wish to a dance a day at Ellen du Ige for Stowe. Oh, USA. What for the hell? Really for the here? What for my men? Ege speech or a current bill for some to as a yeah, the video mega god. Then please, um, scroll the nil below a uh, comment section or Bali overset so you can Bali scroll to Hannah so I can tell her and then she can explain to these guys. I think she's doing this like Friday, right before we have vacation. So please, super important. Thank you so much for paying attention. I am going to end this video here. That way it didn't get long over, you know, nine minutes because I think I'm just now scratching like eight minutes. So uh, I will talk to y'all later. Favorite vlogger, please make sure you thumbs up these videos and likes and make sure you send everything you can in the comment section. I will check you guys later. If you got ideas about anything, please write them below, okay? Check y'all later. Favorite vlogger, I'm out.